as in does it so stay for it? What, what they do is spin it. So, the, the good news is we got ourselves a first national campaign. Let's hear it for us. All right. Woo! Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good Enough gaiety. We've got some serious work ahead of us. We've got to write nothing less than the catchiest jingle ever written. The client is armor. The product is hot dogs. What? Hot dogs. What? Hot dogs. Armor hot dogs. Jim, what have you got? The armor people want to skew their demographic to a more youthful profile. Our job is to make armor hot dogs the number one choice of hot dogs among young humans aged 3 to 11. Kids. Exactly. But what they want to do is identify specific groups within that demographic and market directly to them. Thanks, Jim. So, as you can see, we've got our work cut out for us. Mm. Hot dogs. Armor hot dogs. What kind of kids eat armor hot dogs? That is precisely the question we need to answer. What kind of kids eat armor hot dogs? I have no idea. Jeez, it's a tough one. This is maddening. I, what kind of kids eat armor hot dogs? It's impossible. It's yeah. not impossible. It's our job. The hot dogs are eaten. Someone must be eating them. Some of the people eating them must be kids. Those kids must have defining characteristics. Now think! What kind of kids eat armor hot dogs? Fat kids. Fat kids. Fat kids? They're fat kids. Fat kids probably eat armor hot dogs. These children in all likelihood have a predilection for eating armor hot dogs. Good. Fat kids. Okay, who else? Um, um, skinny kids. A little obvious, but good. Skinny kids, fat kids. Mix it up a little. Good. Uh, who else? Kids engaged in some kind of activity. Activity! Good. Yes. What kind of activity? Uh, 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 kids who paint. Kids who play games. Kids who sing songs. Uh, kids who can write their own names. No, no. Generality is the killer of art. Specific. Simple. Clean. Pure, an exclamation point. Kids who make origami. Uh, kids who bowl. Uh, yeah. Kids who do their own shopping. No! No! These are the stupidest ideas I ever heard in my life! Now come on! What kind of kids eat armor hot dogs? Kids who climb on, on rocks? I'll buy that. Tough kids. Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, tough kids. Who else? Latent homosexual kids. Oh. Hmm. I like it. It's got too many syllables. Potentially homosexual kids. No, are you listening? Kids who might be gay. Kids with fluid sexuality. Kids who go both ways. Close. Let's come back to it. Who else? Kids with infectious diseases. Jim, don't be a jerk. OK? Do that for me. We can't give them a phrase like kids with infectious diseases. What did I say before? What did I say? Specificity. What kind of infectious diseases? Cholera. Bubonic plague. Amoebic dysentery. Not infectious. Epstein-Barr virus. Wait, that's good. Even kids with Epstein-Barr virus like hot dogs. Man, it's so close! But it's not good enough. Don't you see? This jingle has to be perfect. And we're going to make it perfect if it takes all night. Polio. No. Spanish influenza. No. Big in 1918. Yellow fever. No. Anthrax. Better, but no. Malaria? No. Whooping cough. No. We, we, we didn't say it funny, you know, like, whooping cough. No. Rubella. They have a cure. It has to be incurable? We're not doing rubella. Swine flu. No, 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 these are all bullshit. We gotta get serious here. This should be a disease that's essentially harmless to children, but potentially extremely dangerous to their parents. Well, measles. Mumps. Spastic colitis. Blastomycosis. Botulism. Diphtheria? Encephalitis. Gonorrhea. Hepatitis. Herpes simplex. Histoplasmosis. Hookworm. Mononucleosis. Pertussis? 
That's whooping cough, scarlet fever, spotted fever, syphilis, tapeworm, toxoplasmosis, trichomoniasis, chicken paw, typhus. Wait, go back. Typhus. Taxoplasmosis. Trichomoniasis. Chicken pox? Chicken pox. Chicken pox. Even kids with chicken pox love hot dogs. No. What was the last one I lacked? Uh. Lyme disease? We go with that. Let's get the hell out of here.